Noel Edmonds has been off our screens for nearly 10 years. Can you believe it? But in that time, he's been down under yeah. building a radio empire. The star of Noel's house party and the original deal or no deal. So and swap he... shop. Yeah. I mean, the, it, the CV <laughs> is endless. In fact, I can't Noel's believe... Christmas presents. I, I can't believe that, that you oh have God. been off television for that long. It's very good to see a you, A grateful nation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We are a grateful nation that you're back on the sofa this morning. It's yeah, great to see you. Well, thank you for having me. But thank you're on TV talking about radio, Noel. What's going on? Um, I, I, had to, I had to smile to myself when Grant Shapps there was talking about business and supporting businesses. Uh, I have two media companies, yeah. uh, which I've developed over many years. One is called U Radio, U dot Radio. We now have over 1,200 online radio stations. Right. Um, my company is the biggest creator, manager, developer of online radio stations in the world. And uh, last week I was in Dubai and an analyst said, um, you do realise U Radio is growing faster than Spotify did in its first year. Well, congratulations. So that's, that's okay. great. We also have um, a, a New Zealand-based company, Radio Taxi. What I realised was a lot of people can't find the radio stations they want mm. on the internet. It's just too much. And Radio Taxi dot world is the world's first um, guide to online radio. Very good. Created by human beings, not AI, not algorithms. I got presenters and producers from around the world to say, what are the best 400 stations? Mm. So you can go to Radio Taxi and listen to the best radio in the world. No, while you're talking, I can't help but be distracted by your shoes. Um, why I do thought you were going to say my blue eyes. Your blue eyes are, are very distracting. <coughs> I'm not sure the viewers can see. Could you put your shoes on the table so have a look? And I, one I black shoe. Put, How honestly. dare you? I would never put my feet on a Is table. There, oh, there, there we they go. Are. I'm sure your skillful team of operatives can shoot now, the ground. You, the, there was a photograph of you in your hometown in New Zealand and you were at a cafe and people noticed. Now, this isn't just an accident. This is deliberate. Well, <laughs> um, it is because in Riverhaven, where I live on the South Island of New Zealand, it is illegal to go out with matching shoes. And there <laughs> are cameras around and police to fine you right. if you go out. Like I think Sadiq Khan came up with the idea. Right. Um, this sounds... So, mm, this yeah, sounds, you're yeah. Not, it's you're not, not April the that, first. I, can I ask you a question? I was, I was struck um, <clears throat> reading over the weekend. Um, we've just seen um, Alan Bates get his knighthood for his yeah. campaign exposing well done, fraud at the post office. You yourself were um, charged by Lord's, by Lloyds Bank with excessive lending. Um, you went bankrupt. It was a terrible time for you. They told you it was your fault. And it turns out this was a scam in Lloyds Bank, people acting um, illegally. Um, it, it was exposed in the end and compensation was paid. Well, I'm not sure it's been paid to everybody yet. It just struck me that um, big trusted institution letting people down, well, blaming Ed, you. The parallels are so striking. Ed, this, this is a slight swapping of roles because I can feel ITV's lawyers going, oh, um, the detail is that there was a crime in HBOS Reading and people went to prison, including my bank manager, who had destroyed my unique group of companies. Lloyd's acquired HBOS after the big uh, meltdown that we had. The key thing about Lloyd's behaviour was they lied. They covered up their knowledge of the crime. And, and they this, told you it was your fault. And they, Well, all the victims were told, no, you're not getting anything. But the bit where it really kicked off for me, 2017, uh, when the guilty people went to prison, um, Lloyd's chief executive, Antonio Horta Osorio, stood up and said, sorry and all victims will be compensated. And then at the AGM, where I stood up and asked a question, it's still on YouTube, I pushed Lord Blackwell, the chairman, about the losses, because they kept saying people will get their losses back. You don't want compensation if your business has been destroyed. You want your losses back. And they said they had paid, and they hadn't. Right. So if it had not been for the eventual Foskett panel... None of us would have got any... I got a percentage of my losses. So watching but this post of a scandal from, Oh, my God. I mean, I mean, how do you feel when you see this now happening? Well, Liz and I watched it and felt sick because the parallels with um, the whole Lloyd's HBOS thing 
were so uncomfortable. Mm. And I don't want to trivialise what happened to the post office people, some of whom died before they were exonerated, yeah. people committed suicide. But the whole thing around HBOS and Lloyd's is far bigger and there are people today who right. still have not got their losses back. Mm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, Gosh. Now, when you look back on your time in television, just to... Which I never do, by the way. Well, that's interesting. Why not? Um, I'm too busy. I'm running the biggest online radio production company. In New Zealand, yeah. I have a farm of a 1,000 acres, a vineyard. Last week, I found out our white wine is up for an award. Riverhaven is the best restaurant at the top of the South Island. Do please come. I'll so get you a table. <laughs> I've got an old English ago. pub if called I... The Bugger Inn. But as a 10-year-old, I swapped <laughs> on your slop shop. Steady. I love Steady. it. Steady. No, that's uh, perfectly per acceptable language. In New the Zealand. The Bugger Inn. Uh, well, no, it is here as well. The uh, Bugger I, I, I'll have to, I'll have to apologise for that, just in case there are families who don't think so. If I mentioned the words Mr and Blobby to you, what would you say? Uh, I talk to him most days. He, right. call, he calls me. Right. Uh, has to be said, not the most entertaining conversation. Um, I feel sorry for him. Do you miss him? Um, well, he wants a station on U Radio. And Susanna, I, I have to say, just in case you're thinking of doing something else, you haven't said thank you. To? Me. Thank you. On you radio, on Kudos, you have your own radio station. What? You have your own radio station. Kudos has Jeremy Clarkson's station. We've got an Elon Musk station, what Nigel you Farage. Is that a read station? It's your radio station. You should listen to it. it sounds... Download the you radio app okay. and hear your uh, radio station. I'll tell you what I'd like to hear. What? And I'd like to see a reunion. Here we go. Stand by. I had a funny thing. Oh, you knew it was coming, Noel. You knew it was coming. I had a funny... You speak to him every day. You probably gave it away. I had a, <laughs> I had a funny feeling. <laughs> this would... No, I'm, I'm not doing a radio station for you. It'd be boring. No, we want Mr Blob, Blobby Blob, Radio. Blob, come here. Right, Whoa. come here. Come here, come, come here. here. Oh, my Whoa. God. The only, thing, the only thing that can be said about this... Yeah, was never, make, ever do it again. He makes Ed look slim. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. Still to come, we'll be joined by Andrew and Kevin for post-match analysis of the political interviews and the big moments. You're watching Good Morning Britain on ITV. Blobby, blobby, blobby! <laughs> was the aftermath of the interview with Noel Edmonds and a special guest appearance by Mr Blobby. Oh, my gosh. Who actually stuck around to help write the table. Uh, was kind of. Be, and then be... knelt on the table as we thanked our guests and apologised for that. Did, did you see me body shielding you there you to try and get you out of the carnage? Yes, you, were, you, I was you go worried this the way. table was going to go back. And, there back goes. Oh it was, he was all very helpful and then gets up on the table and carries on creating chaos. To, to say that was memorable would be an understatement in a sort of slightly bizarre, I mean, goodness no. Anyway, 